following contest is scheduled for one fall. There's a couple of little hunks right in the there, Brady. Weighing in at 225 pounds, unhaling from look Oklahoma at the lovely City, bike Oklahoma. Bike Oklahoma. Woof, woof. Here is Ed Robinson. Why I wouldn't want to be an Ed Robinson. Oh, What's that little runt doing in the world? Shut I'm up! Tell shut everybody up. something. Listen to me. Get that from guy out of here. Nobody announces the man who rules the world uh -oh. except for what? me. Harvey Whippleman. Whippleman? So I want all Whippleman. Shut of up. you peons to stand up on your feet and show respect to the man who rules the world, Sid Justice. Asking everybody to stand up. Was he standing up? I'm standing. Looks like to me he was on his knees. I'm standing up, too. Why don't you sit down? But Hulk Hogan's going to be on his knees at WrestleMania looking up at Big Sid Justice. Him for mercy. Hey, good luck at that hunk of humanity. One half of the double main event at WrestleMania 8 as he faces one on one the immortal Hulk Hogan. And of course, the other half for the World Wrestling Federation Championship as your man, Ric Flair, faces former WWF champion, the Macho Man Randy Savage. Well, it appears to me that Sid Justice is so intense. He wants Hogan real bad. And Savage wants Flair and the title just as bad. WrestleMania 8 Monsoon is going to be something. Look at this. That's a joke, referee. Give me a break. Right on. Listen to the chant of Hogan here. I'll tell you, I bet there's one person now telling the people to shut up. And that's Hogan. He don't want any part of Sid Justice. Oh. Unlike the Royal Rumble, Brady won't be able to sneak up behind the hogster. He'll have to meet him face to face. Oh, my God. Look at that. I think you better call the paramedics. Wow. Here is your whistle. Sid Justice. Sid Justice making short work of it. It'll be a little tougher coming from five. I'm the man. You're saying to everybody, hey, I've been here. I've seen them come and go. But let me tell you something. See, there's two. To be seen. But there's no doubt. Justice has Justice. tremendous momentum. Moving into WrestleMania. Here we're just three weeks away from the one-on-one -on -one encounter. Justice versus Hogan. And unfortunately, after that power bomb, what is this personal position stuff? Oh, yeah, sure. As if you're giving the last... That going. Oh, that was a nice escape there. Whoa! There she is, up on the apron. And a momentary distraction there by Sherry caused a downfall. What just happened to Virgil out there? Can you imagine if he would have keyed off on Brutus? If he would have made contact? Can you imagine what would have happened to Brutus's face? And think about it, between now and WrestleMania, with Sid Justice out of control, think about what might happen between now and then. Sid Justice, he says that he rules the world, Mean Gene. Well, maybe he rules Sid Justice's world, but when it comes down to WrestleMania, 
when you step in front of the Hoosier Dome with all my maniacs as your judge. That's where Hulk Hogan rules. That's where the four demandments of the training, the prayers, the vitamins, and the believing in ourselves rules. So sit justice when you feel the power of Hulkamania, brother. When you realize what Hulk Hogan's all about. In WrestleMania 8, with God as my witness, I swear, brother, I'll prove you the power of Hulkamania. And what you're going to do when the Hulkster puts his own brand of justice on you. You are complaining about your broken nose. Well, Sid Justice has no compassion for any living soul. And you, Hogan, how convenient <laughs> for you to spread the rumor that maybe will be your last event. When you signed that match, I was the one that decided that for you, because I am the one that rules the world. I've done my time. You is the answer. I'm going to have to get about seven or eight more cows to put more leather on that belt to fit these two. Whoa. Yeah, you don't want to sit home the next day and miss WrestleMania, have some humanoid come over to borrow a cup of sugar and a half a pound of lard and say, hey, did you, you missed it last night, Herbie? Come on, brother. It was a great, great WrestleMania. What? Oh, gee, I didn't know about it. What are you making with a cup of sugar and a half a pound of lard? Humanoid Is that food. some, uh, weasel? Somebody hand and running him up the foot. Same thing. Look out, Hot Rod! Oh, just leveled him. I believe he knocked him out. Photo garbage have been laying on every day. They're not my photos. They belong to Flair. Hey, right, too bad. You talk to him about it. That tribute to Hulk Hogan. And Hulk Hogan himself in his day was maybe the greatest wrestler there ever was. And even myself that has no compassion for no living soul, Hogan, for just a second, one second, I feel sorry. I'm on the we see you. On behalf of all of us, your Hulkamaniacs, thank you for the memories. Thank you for the inspiration. And thank you for Hulkamania. Thank you.